Silverado High School is a comprehensive high school located in Southern California between Los Angeles and Las Vegas. Our 84 to 86% free and reduced lunch. Silverado's challenge in our population is to create a college-going culture for all students, um, regardless of their socioeconomic status. We have a high population of students who would be first-time college-goers. We also have a history of students who perhaps don't have a high school graduate in their family either. And so we are trying to both promote high school graduation and reduce our dropout rate, as well as increasing our college-going culture. Curriculum has changed in California. California adopted California content standards. Integrated Math 1 um, really replaced Algebra 1 as the gateway course for both high school graduation and college entrance. But because it's a more integrated approach of not algebra in a vacuum and not geometry in a vacuum, but how those things are interrelated and the expectation that students really know how to think and problem solve within Integrated 1, um, we recognized almost immediately that our highest DNF rate across the school system was in the Integrated 1 classes. Consequently, if you st a student realizes a D in Integrated 1, it makes them ineligible for uh, University of California or Cal State entrance. A failing grade in Integrated 1 ultimately sets them up for being a non-graduate four years down the road. We were introduced to the concept of one-on-one -on -one online tutoring at the same time that my teachers were realizing a high level of frustration trying to learn the new Integrated One curriculum as instructors and be able to deliver it appropriately to all 34, 35 students in their class. Um, FEV tutoring came along as a perfect opportunity to diversify the instruction, individualize the instruction, and make it specific to the needs of each student in the classroom so that the teacher um, wasn't responsible for making sure that they got to, in one short class period, all 34 students with their individual needs. A lot of stu these students have been passed from elementary school all the way to high school, not because they learn the content at each level, but because of their age. They're just mo moved on to the next grade level. I like working with an online tutor probably because they're more patient with you. They don't actually rush you through things. They'll explain step by step. If you don't understand it, there's less people that they have to go through. Like uh, my regular classes, if I needed a question and another couple students had a question, I'd wait my turn and I probably wouldn't get the question that I needed. But with a individual tutor like FEB, they'd actually help me get through it right then and there. I'm a type of person that I get very, I have an anxiety. So I get very nervous when there's people around me and they can hear like, oh, like she doesn't know that. So it's just one-on-one. -on -one. So if I need help, she's just there or he's just there. Like, this is how you do it. Don't worry, it's fine. I'll walk you through it. And that's what I love most about it. The results of FEV tutoring in the Integrated Math 1 classes is we had a control group. We had a group of Integrated Math 1 students who did not have any FEV tutoring. Um, their DNF rate decreased at a rate of about 26 percent. Um, we also realized that there was a sweet spot of about 10 hours of FEV tutoring. So if a student had 10 or fewer hours of FEV tutoring, they had a reduction in DNF rates of about 51 percent. And those students who had more than 10 hours of FEV tutoring during that time um, had passage rates of 60% uh, or higher. So during the junior year is when we do all of our pre-college testing prep, SAT prep, ACT prep. And so when, when this offer was made available to us by, by our principal, and she says, hey, there's this thing out there, you know, Feb Tutor, and it's, it's online one-on-one, -on -one, you know, testing and it will help the students, do you want to do it? And I said, well, heck yeah, let's try that. Well, you can't beat one-to-one. -one. Um, even if I had a specific SAT tutoring program set up for my students, it would be me and 31 kids. And there's no way, no way I could give each of them the attention that they need. Our students went through a eight to nine week session with Feb Tutor. We began with a, an SAT diagnostic or SAT-like diagnostic. And then based on the students' results, they were scheduled one-on-one -on -one with, with the FEB tutors online, working on their areas of need, their weaknesses. We took a test before we did FEB tutor, which shows us what our weakest and our strongest parts are. 
And when we started Fed Tutor, I remember it was, my English wasn't the best. So when it was during the, our tutor sessions, would always highlight everything in that session, what we did wrong, what we're doing right, and what we're doing great in. Before Fed Tutor, I, I was very scared and nervous to take that SAT. But after those sessions, I felt confident going in that Saturday morning. And on the pre-SAT, on the math section, I did terrible. And on the English section, I did all right. I could already tell the stuff that I was struggling on, I'm learning, I'm getting it, even in my actual math class. It's one-on-one, -on -one, which I think is really good because you know I'm usually able to like get my point across when it comes to the teacher. But you know, when it's a huge classroom, you're not always able to understand because the teacher has to explain it to each person. You know, when, like with me, I'm like, all right, I've already has asked you to explain it to me two times, I'm gonna need it a third time. And you know, with the tutor online, they're able to do that. We take the students that are, are in the middle that might not necessarily have exposure to the, the college curriculum at home, how to navigate the, the pre-college testing, um, the, the college application process itself. There's no way that I could tutor individually each student. Um, there's, no, there's no way time-wise that we could do that. I don't think I have the background um, to do that. And um, it, it makes my life a lot easier <laughs> on Mondays and Fridays. All I have to do is facilitate. My students are working. It was, it was positive. The students had positive interactions and they actually looked forward to seeing their same tutor all of the time. It was their, their friend, so to speak, their, their invisible mentor. The tutors were very effective in never giving students answers, but guiding them, how do we arrive at the answer, or asking them to rethink what they, they did, go back and pinpoint the exact area where the students may have made the mistake, and, and get them to try again and, and encourage them. I definitely felt more confident when I took my SATs because it made me feel more prepared looking at the questions um, that had already been introduced to me. I, I was very aware of what I was doing and I had had enough practice for me to be able to just hop onto the questions and not look at the test and be like, oh darn, like I never saw this. When comparing my PSAT grade to um, my first SAT grade, it was a lot higher in math. I think I had 400 only and uh, PSAT, and then when I took it for math, I had 540. I took the SAT again, my math score went up another 30, so it, was, it went from 400 to 540 to 570. Uh, the growth that was noticed in student performance was um, especially marked in the area of math. My student scores grew from 80 to 90 points between the preliminary diagnostic and the final diagnostic. I have applied to four Cal States, four UCs, and the dream school is USC. I got accepted to uh, Cal State Channel Islands, Cal State San Bernardino, and Cal State San Francisco. For utilizing Feb Tutor with Feb Tutor because of Feb Tutor, it is F E V Tutor, not Feb Tutor. 